Rocky House, and you're here for the beginning of a brand new round of the Pet Connection. Pets! Am I right? Pets. Who doesn't love pets? But every person has a perfect pet that is unique to them. Uh, one person's perfect pet may not be someone else's perfect pet. That's why this game exists at all. In just a moment, we're going to meet three pets and the human beings who brought them in. And then we're going to turn those three pets over to our contestant to interview them and decide which pet will make the perfect pet connection for them. So now let's meet our first pet nominator. Calling us all the way from Utah audience, say hello to Joseph. Hello, Jack. Joseph, I, I got to be clear here. Are you the pet or are you the person? No, I'm a person. But okay. I have my pet in the car with me. Okay, but how do I know that you're not the pet and that there's a person in the car with you? Like maybe you're a, a cat or a dog that's learned how to use the phone. That's possible, right, okay. Joseph? If, if, I'm not, if I'm not playing sex and I'm only playing baseball, that's the only time I will go after a baseball. Okay, I got it. Okay, that checks out. You passed the test. You passed the Turing test. You are definitely a human being. Well, wait a minute, Joseph. You said that the pet is in the car with you? Yes, yes, he is. Oh, so this is a real pet. Uh, who is this pet that you'd like to introduce us to? His name is Jasper, and he is one of the best dogs ever. Oh, Jasper's a very good boy. What kind of dog is Jasper? Um, I... A lab Aussie. Wait, a lab Aussie? Did I hear that right? Yes, yes you did. It's like not a, a lab. Oh, okay, not a lab Aussie. That would be what happens if a Labrador is wearing a pair of Osh Gosh Bagosh uh, overalls. But it's not that. <laughs> <laughs> that would be pretty cute, actually, wouldn't it? How about this? Can I we, don't... For the purposes of this game, can we say that Jasper is a lab Aussie, but he is wearing a pair of Osh Gosh Bagosh overalls? I think that's going to earn him some points. Can we do that, please? Well, let me ask him. Let me ask him. He yes. says yes. Okay, great. And what did it sound like when he said yes? Uh, what does his language sound like? Well, we... <laughs> and then he has his little bark, which is like... Okay, just for the record, Joseph, those two barks sounded identical to each other, <laughs> as far as we can tell. I know, I know on your end of the equation, those were probably two very different barks, but something about the yeah. delivery, that, that pretty much sounded like one kind of bark. So we got one kind of bark coming out of Jasper that can mean lots of different things. So he's kind of like Groot from the, uh, from the Guardians of the Galaxy. He says one thing, but it means lots of different things. Yes, very much. I, I agree with that. Okay, great. And you mentioned fetch. Does Jasper the dog like playing fetch? Oh, yes. He, he will play for like three and a half hours. It's oh, fun. wow. He is and a what, lot. Yeah. And what, what does he fetch? Does he fetch sticks or balls or what? The, he sticks, balls, bones, toys, rocks. Oh, wow. So, pretty, uh, he's a master fetcher. And uh, just to make sure, when uh, those, whatever he is fetching and returning, when it comes back, is it dry as a bone or is it really soggy and gross? Really soggy and gross after the fifth one. All right. So, if someone chooses Jasper the dog, uh, they're going to want to bring a pair of rubber gloves with them or be okay with communing with Dog Snarf. Audience, <laughs> give it up for Joseph in Utah and Jasper the Lab Aussie who's wearing Osh Gosh Pagosh. And now let's go to Tennessee and meet our next pet parent who has a pet that they brought with them. Uh, at least I think that's how this works. Or maybe we're going to be talking to the pet and they're going to talk about their human. We're just going to find out. Audience, put your paws together for Michaela. Hello, Michaela. How's it going? Good. Great. Now, uh, just to be clear, Michaela, are you the pet or are you the person? The person. Okay, so you're speaking on behalf of a pet. Just making sure, because one of these days a pet's going to call in. Just some pet that naturally learned how to use a cell phone. And I want to be there when that happens. Michaela, tell us, what pet did you bring with you? I have a monstrous nightmare dragon. Ah! Oh, man! <laughs> oh, boy! A monstrous nightmare dragon. Okay, tell us about this monstrous nightmare dragon. What's this dragon's deal? This is my, 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 my monstrous nightmare has a habit 
of putting itself on fire, which should come in handy on really cold days. Oh, I see. Okay, so this is actually a helpful pet to have. Like, if you're... Does it get cold in Tennessee? Like, cold enough that you need a burning dragon to keep you warm? It snows in spring. Oh, interesting. Okay. But maybe you're an Arctic explorer, or you're going to Antarctica to, you know, learn about the, like, the, the coldest environments. You could bring this monster nightmare dragon with you, and it would keep you warm in those cold environments. Right. As long as you train it. Okay. How do you train a monster? Well, you need to put your hand out and gain its trust, and you need to put away all, all weapons and such so it can trust you. So that sounds pretty much like How to Train a Dragon, uh, made famous by yeah. the books and movies. It's the same thing. <laughs> Everyone, if you... Yeah, I, I'm using the method. You're using the same method? Okay, great. Excellent. So everyone, this is good to know. Apparently, uh, whatever you learn about training dragons, that can be applied to monsters. Like all monsters, Michaela? Or just this particular monster dragon? Just, just the particular dragons. Interesting. What about the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man from Ghostbusters? Could you use the same training uh, regimen on the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man, do you think? No. It's yeah, too big. Yeah, okay, got it. Okay, it's good to know your limits, especially when you're dealing with monsters. Well, audience, put your paws together, or in this case, your scary monster dragon talents together for Michaela in Tennessee, who brought us a monster nightmare dragon. And you know what? We're going to leave it at two, everybody. Uh, thanks, everyone, who tried to call in to be in our third slot, but I think this is actually perfect. We've got a perfect yin and yang. On one side, courtesy of Joseph in Utah, we've got Jasper the dog. He's a lab Aussie wearing a pair of Oshkosh bagosh overalls. He'll play fetch with you for three and a half hours, and that thing is coming back wet, whatever you throw. Or, for, uh, courtesy of Michaela in Tennessee, a monster dragon. You have to say it like that, too. This monster dragon, uh, well, let's say it's scary, it's a dragon, it's monstrous, and it'll keep you warm in the winter. So this is like a classic Jedi versus Sith type situation. <laughs> well, it's your turn now, everybody. We need one contestant to interview each one of these two highly theoretical pets and tell us which one is going to be their pet connection. Really? I'm guessing you don't...